So yeah, that was a bit of a... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So, oh, I'm in a match, finally. Uh, yeah, I just miss good old storylines in wrestling games and not the real stuff. And some were even quite funny, or not funny, but really random. You know, the... What was the one? Esperor 2010? Where you're facing The Undertaker and you're losing your mind. and That was really good. I enjoyed that one. And the Edgy Christian, you know, build the time machine. <laughs> that was a fun one. I'll give you a clue. The Hardcore Champion. Now, just think there was a really weird one where you got turned into a female. That was, you know, Candace Michelle's wand was real and she turned you into a, a chick. I think one of my favorite it was the storyline with Eugene and William Regal. That was 2006, I think, or maybe 2007. You're basically working. Uh, William Regal gets injured in a tag match. It's Trish Stratus, Edge, and Christian, I think, or Chris Jericho. I can't even remember. It was definitely Edge, or one of them, and they were basically trying to mine, you know, trick Eugene into being friends with him and cost him the match. And then you filled in for Regal because he got injured by Edge. So that was one of my favourites. But see, I didn't really like that one, because when you won the title, you got stripped of it. <laughs> that was just part of the storyline of that game. Uh, what else was there? Don't even bother with Crush Hour. <laughs> We're not even going to bring that one up. That was pretty bad. The Royal Rumble match is bullshit. Uh, just trying to think. I wouldn't mind doing, I, I did mention in the last session, uh, ECW, Hardcore Revolution, and WWF Warzone Attitude. Go through that season, see how I'll go with that one. And I eventually want to do WrestleMania 2000 and No Mercy. Funny, I did do No Mercy for a couple of sessions, like pff, last year or early last year. And I just wasn't feeling it for some reason. It was, I was emulating it, and I don't know if it's because I was using a weird controller and not a Nintendo 64. But I just didn't feel comfortable, and I ended up scrapping it. So I would like to pick that up again, because I did the title, you know, it's, it's like storylines, but it was really good, so I wouldn't mind really getting into that. But I won't emulate it, I'll just use our N64 and play my copy. Or, if it would be better, I could emulate it and get a Nintendo 64 PC USB cable. If I could do that, that'd be pretty good. Let's go. Oh, I thought I was the other way then. Force a habit. Come on, Kurt. Grow some balls and strip uh, Lesnar off that title. Yeah, see, I've been keeping up lately with the WWE. And yeah, Extreme Rules. I, see, I didn't, I'm not really watching the pay-per-views until it sort of picks up again. Because Raw is really struggling at the moment. Oh, pff, that was rigged. Uh, what was I saying? So Raw's struggling. Everyone's pissed because it's Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley clashing to see who gets for the universe title. And everyone wants, you know, these other people. But I don't want it to be someone like, uh, top of my head, Seth Rollins. I don't want him to be the one to beat Lesnar for the universe title because... It would mean absolutely nothing. Now, bear with me. You've had a part-time hold the title for what? Over a year? What accomplishment is... I mean, the guy never rocked up. So, I don't want it wasted. If, I want, if Seth was to win it, I want him to win it off someone who's actually, you know, that wants to be there and actually show up. I would love to see Seth and McIntyre. That'd be a really good match. And honestly, I need Finn and Kevin Owens need to rematch because you know, Finn got really screwed when he had that injury, which was really sad. And it would be good if Seth 
at some point one it and then be them two to face off again. You know, this time have a clean match and no one gets injured. And Kevin Owens needs a rematch because he never got one. I don't count Goldberg winning the title. That was... I love Goldberg. I respect him. He's a, he was good when, you know, at his time. But that was real bullshit what they did. Just, you know, have him come back and win the title, then drop it. And then having Lesnar hold it. Oh, oh out he goes. I'm actually sort of praying. I'm... You know, that they changed the title. You know, it's like maybe they pull some... You know, this title was useless because of what Lesnar did. So we're bringing, you know, a new version in. You know, one can hope. And I forgot Braun Strowman has the money in the bank briefcase. He might cash in. He might win it. Or it might be, a, you know, Bobby Lashley beats Brock. And then he just cashes in. Who else was in a triple threat match? Elias. Yeah, I'm not really feeling. He's good. Don't get me wrong. He's really good, but I just don't see him holding a a main title just yet. I reckon he could hold the Intercontinental title for a few months. Uh, who else was in? Nice. Ah, oh, the triple threat. Was Finn was in it, wasn't he? I'm sure. Yeah, he needs to win it at one point. You know, have a proper run. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm glad he didn't win the title. I mean, imagine if it was him, you know, that Goldberg pinned. That'd be messy. Oh, will Kane finally break the streak? Oh! <laughs> The streak has been broken by Kane. Oh, well done, Kane. He broke the record. <laughs> nice. I'm a little bit shocked. Did you hear my mouth drop? <laughs> Honestly, Kane should have won the World Heavy title when he lost the mask. I mean, that would have been a good sort of... I mean, it didn't even have to hold it for that long. I reckon a two-month run after he removed it, that would have been good. Would have been a good build-up, Triple H. I will destroy you! Yeah, no matches. Chill out. Just looking at these, I just saw a match where they did the uh, the Gorilla Press Slam match. When Viscera threw Mark off the, you know, the turnbuckle, would oh, it was nasty. I thought Mark was going to land on his head. And Viscera, oh, oh yeah, oh my God, Viscera just slammed Mark Henry. Sorry, I should probably explain. I'm watching the WWE Network 1999 up to Raw June 7th, if I remember the date. It's the week before uh, King of the Ring. And uh, so basically it was a... Viscera and Midian cost Mark and D'Lo the tag team titles on heat. So Mark wanted Viscera. And I think it was a Gorilla Press Slam match where they basically you just got to lift them and throw them down. And Mark climbed off the turnbuckle and Viscera threw him and holy crap, it looked vicious. I'll put a video on it. I did record it and showed Luke. You don't have a match. I'd have checked. Uh-oh. Oh, did I have a match? And I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, this is going to be a good feud.
Sorry, just getting a drink. First little try, I'm talking too much. Trisha's picture just looks so weird. Where's my tag team title match? Not tag team <laughs> title. Tag team matches. I want to keep the rankings up. I think we're rank five. Well, that's two for two, isn't it? If I remember. So TNA are down. Oh, it's Vince against Kane. So why was... Oh, don't worry, man. I'll help. Fuck the fat boy. Come on, Kane. You can beat Vince. Come on, Kane. Don't lose to that prick. Oh, thank God. Yeah, Vince beat him up. Oh, just... Yeah, we were just talking about WWE games, you know, like earlier on. Any news on the collector's edition on who it's going to be, like for 2K19? Because I, you know what I'm like, I pre ordered, I've got to get the, it's tradition for me, I've always got every WWE game in history, and if it's bad, I'm still going to get it just for the collection. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of hoping it's Kane, but I don't think it's going to be. I reckon it would be more. So you can't do Undertaker, he already had one. Stone Cold had one. Uh, John, you can't do John Cena again, because that would just be poor taste. See, I'm spewing... Last year, it was Kane's 20 years. Just a shame that it wasn't him. Bloody Cena. Starting five years later, bang on. <laughs> um, so you can't do NXT again. Hmm, see, I wouldn't even know. Could be Triple H, <laughs> you never know. Hey. Oh, WrestleMania. It'll be Kane and Triple H, won't it? Oh no, it was Devon Dudley, he won the Rumble, so it might be same with him. Oh. In search for <laughs> That sounds like Dwayne. Why is it always Vince? That's always cool. <laughs> it's not much, but it really keeps me going. 